click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is what is the effect of the substance on the acidic strength of the carboxylic acid. And now we are going to talk about the mechanism of the esterification reaction. So now let us discuss about that. So friends, here we are going to talk about the mechanism of the esterification reaction. But before understanding that, let us understand the general reaction behind this one. So that is what we know. That is, esterification reaction is nothing but the reaction of the carboxylic acid. That is, RC double bond OOH with the alcohol. That is, ROH. And this R or this alkyl group can be different compared to that of the this R also. So that's the reason that is I have mentioned here as R dash. But this reaction undergoes in presence of acid or that acid could be H2SO4 also. And while increasing the temperature, we could find that is this H2 it will be removed in the form of a byproduct. So therefore the H2 it will be removed as a byproduct, while the rest of the thing is R C double bond O O R dash. So this is what we have obtained ester and this kind of reaction is esterification. So this is nothing known as esterification reaction. So now let us come back to the main point that is mechanism of esterification reaction. So to describe the mechanism of the esterification reaction, let me divide it into two parts that is step one and step two. So this is what I'm going to represent about the step one reaction. So as we have discussed about the general reaction, we have talked about that is the reaction should be in an acidic medium so that is the reason that the carboxylic acid that is r c double bond o o h it will be reacting with that is the h plus ion or through the acidic medium so now this h plus ion it will attack this oxygen atom because this oxygen atom is basically electronegative so that's the reason that this h plus ion it will attack the oxygen atom in such a way that we could get a product and that product is nothing but that is r c double bond o H and here also there will be OH but if you find this oxygen atom this oxygen atom has basically three valency as you could see over here so that indicates that there should be a positive charge on it so now this is very unstable so obviously to stabilize this thing we have to introduce such molecules which can stabilize this molecule so that is what we have introduced that is ROH so in this case basically this alcoholic group where this oxygen has basically electronegative charge so therefore this will attack on this so therefore this oxygen which is basically electronegative that will attack the electropositive part of this one that is we understand that is the carbon is electropositive so that's the reason that this oxygen will attack the carbon and thereby moving this two electrons to the oxygen atom which has a positive charge so thereby the product that we could get is nothing but that is R C here this will be converted into OH and now here it was a positive charge but this positive charge it will be neutralized because the double bond among this double bond the two electrons has been shifted to this oxygen atom and that is how basically we can find that here also there is OH and here we can find that is there is oxygen atom that has been attached to hydrogen and here it is nothing but the R group or we could say that is alkyl group but if you observe this one again this is the oxygen atom which has three valency so obviously even this will be the one which will have a positive charge so to stabilize this one we are introducing another alcohol and that another alcohol is nothing but we can represent it with the help of that is ROH and that has basically two known pair of electrons on the oxygen atom that is what I have represented over here so now here basically so as to stabilize this positive charge this two electrons of the hydrogen it will shift on this oxygen atom and thereby stabilizing this oxygen atom and this H plus ion it will be moved towards this oxygen atom and thereby the product that we could get is nothing but that is R C this is OH again this is OH and here it will be nothing but O R along with that the product that we have got is that is R O H2 so this is the byproduct that we have but this is the main product of the step one and the name of this product is tetrahedral intermediate so now this tetrahedral intermediate it will be used in step two and let us understand the step two so talking about step two so therefore we have obtained that is R C O H O H and here it is nothing but O R so this is the intermediate or this is the product that we have got in step one and that is what we have obtained it from that is 
So that is what we have obtained from tetrahedral intermediate, which was been converted to this molecule, and this molecule can be also called it as that is ester hydrate. So now, the acidic condition that is with the help of this this, this H plus ion. Now this H plus ion it will react it with or it will attack this oxygen atom over here, and the product that we could get is basically R C. Here it is OH. Here it is OR, and here it will be O. H along with that of or the hydrogen ion that has been attached over here so here by we can find that is there is a presence of positive charge over here because this oxygen has basically three valency so thereby what we can do is we can basically neutralize this thing by shifting by basically shifting the electrons and thereby we can find that is this electron it will jump on this one so therefore the product that we could get is R C O H here it will be OR along with that of the water molecule that is what we have got that is HOH. So here what we will get is we will get that is a positive charge that we will get over here. But so as to neutralize this thing what we can find is because the oxygen atom consists of basically lone pair of electrons. So therefore this will that is shift the electron on this carbon atom and the product that we could get is RC double bond OH and here it will be OR. But here also the oxygen will have basically a positive charge on it. So as to remove this positive charge, what we can do is we can introduce the other molecule that is in the form of water that is what we have discussed over here. So now this water, it will take away, that is I will mention over here, that is this water will take away the hydrogen that is will be present on this one. So therefore the hydrogen, it will be removed in the form of H3O plus while the product that we will get is R, C, double bond O, O, R, which is nothing but ester so this was nothing but the mechanism of the esterification reaction and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll get you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much